very good morning to all the students of class 9d as you know that uh, we have completed our syllabus well in time this is a good thing and we have to start the revision from today onwards okay and please take your revision seriously don't think that syllabus is over this is the chance where we will be revising the concepts once again if you have missed anything uh, you were present you were absent uh, you were mentally not present at the time of the class whatsoever is the reason so when we revise the things they become permanent in our memory so exams are round the corner nobody will you know sit idly at home this is the month where you need to put in efforts in the month of feb as well so in the march you are having exam in the beginning onwards so let's revise our writing skill and and don't think that you're going to sit at home and you will be cheating and the exam will be done no you people are being vaccinated this is the reason you will be appearing for offline exam so do not uh, you know keep this habit of writing away from you i will be sending you some passages and some homework and some tasks of comprehensions as well so you need to solve it on daily basis okay or sometime uh, or after one day i will be sending you okay chaliye because homework to hai nahi ab english ka final checking of notebook has been started so you people have to do assignments okay at at any time i can ask you to show me that also so you should do your in your uh, rough notebook okay so let me discuss once again what is descriptive paragraph we are going to revise it descriptive paragraph in which we are uh, we have done three categories uh, rather uh, i am adding up one more into this thing any incident based that we have not discussed but it can be anything okay you better be prepared for anything so we have done person based descriptive paragraph place based event based incident based person can be any acquainted person your father your mother in blood relation your sibling your grandfather your grandmother uh, your neighbor uh, your you can say vegetable vendor the milkman anybody who know you know, you are known to that person that can be there in descriptive paragraph number 1 it can be any famous personality okay so it can be an acquainted person to whom you know or any famous personality like apj abdul kalam we have done ar rahman also and then it can be any other your prime minister fine any one any one can be there and then place now in the case of place it can be any general place like railway station bus stand mall library of your school canteen uh, theater fine wherever it can be general place or it can be a particular place as well you recently visited shimla during mid uh, summer vacation in winter vacation you went to rajasthan describe that place right so it can be a general place it can be particular place as well now let me talk about the events now right events like uh, it can be your personal event like you uh, attended one marriage in your uh, you can say relations and describe that event your school organized inter class debate competition describe that event fine so again it can be personal as well as professional or related to your school or anything fine do not limit yourself ki yahi hota hai ji just like small kids ke okay railway station hai to railway station no so you have to think in a broader way now next is incident based that i didn't discuss with you incident based is like uh you were going somewhere in a bus and you saw that a boy was bullying a girl in the bus the rate that incident that is also descriptive paragraph fine you uh, went to see an exhibition along with your mother it was a book exhibition the rate that Uh, that is uh, sorry that is an event that is not an incident incident is like you were going somewhere and uh, you saw that beggars were mistreated by one of the rich men that incident can be there chain snatching incident you i witnessed that a man snatched a chain 
from an elderly woman who was going on rickshaw and she fell from the rickshaw narrate that incident fine it can be any incident it can be any accidental based or just a casual incident of bullying of eating of anything fine you you yourself faced any uh, thing that can be there so the thing is you should know what is a descriptive now first thing is you have to write one paragraph always paragraph writing does not mean you have to write two three four paragraphs no a big no you have to write one paragraph number two word limit of the paragraph now if you are getting paragraph for four marks okay as a short composition 120 words maximum clear or it can be up to 150 words also fine 120 to 150 for four marks as a short composition but if you get paragraph writing as long composition for seven marks for eight marks and even for six marks then it can be up to uh, from 150 words to 200 words as well clear 120 to 150 150 to 200 words for eight marks for four marks clear so i'm just clarifying the doubts now because we have done n number of passages so this is your for short composition for long composition is that clear to you all word limit here on number of lines it will be up to one page i guess it will be up to uh, three fourth of the page right now uh, i will be sharing the screen with you all to show various kinds of paragraph writings as well now can anybody tell me uh, that what are the traits which we write in when while describing a person raise your hands quickly let me check who knows this answer when we describe a person in a paragraph what do we write in that value points of paragraph on person But don't write in the chat box. I'm just asking you to pay my chat. Please uh, raise your hand if you want to speak, please. I just want quick interaction, quick reaction. Jaldi jaldi say one person can raise hand and speak the traits. Galat ho jayenge to kya ho jayega? I will help you in that. Pratiksha wants to speak. Pratiksha jaldi se brief me, okay? Baut lamma ni karna isko quickly. Ma'am, physical, physical appearance, color of hair, color of eyes and uh, the behavior of person. Is he introvert, extrovert uh, or... Uh, the behavior of the person is anyone. Is he polite or rude? He wear clothes of what type of reggae type or uh, uh, neat and clean clothes. Okay, what else? Chali. So in short, when we talk about a person, screen is visible to you all better? Screen sabko visible hai? Fine. Descriptive paragraph writing for class 9. Chaliye. Ye CBSC ka jo format hai, uske basis pe. See, description of people. Let's revise. Description of people is a biographical sketch of their lives from birth to the present time, highlighting major events and achievements during that span. In short, it entails a person's characteristics and events related to his life and their effects on his life. Clear? So, we have written points likhete, like physical appearance and facial expressions and facial shape and then personality traits, achievements of the person. Fine? So, this is adding up into this thing that when we describe a person, we can start from his birth till present time what he, that person is doing. And we can highlight the major events and achievements of his life in, uh, and his characteristics, like his personality traits, his complexion, his height, his 
way of talking and pleasing personality or irritating one the way he is uh, trades right and events related to his life and the effects on the lungs so this is why while describing a person very simple question kai baar kya hota hai aapko bahut simple question aata hai but even then uh, you know you are not able to explain it see this is very simple you love your father very much for he is an ideal father describe him in your own words ab apne father ko describe jab karna hota hai we you know think start thinking how to start you can start with the name of the person or you can start right away by telling that the person i admire most in life is my father okay it's not always a simple way jaise class 1 ke bacche aur toke karte hain you know mr raj gupta is my father you know we bahut simple way se start kiya hai you can start in a different way that the person i admire the most is none other than my father like amongst all the superheroes i have ever seen the best one is my father as if you start kar sakte ho so you love your father very uh, so mr raj gupta is my father then second line mein likh sakte ho uska name name batana zaruri hai okay name of that person and then he is very polite and caring person start telling about the traits he loves me very much because this c the tense in which you will be writing will be the present tense simple present tense he is a very busy person yet he pays full attention to me and helps my mother in household chores you are telling that he is busy but still he chooses to help his family members he is an ideal father to be साथ में एक इंसिडेंट बता दिया वन साइड हेल्थ सीरियसली इल इट टू फोर डेज एंड फाइव नाइट्स टू रिकवर ऑल दोज डेज इट टू लीव फ्रॉम दी ऑफिस एंड डेड नॉट स्लीप होल सो यू डीड नॉट गो दैट इन टू द डिटेल्स आपने कहानियां नहीं बना दी है बट राधर देन यू विल डिस्क्राइब मोर ऑन द फीचर्स ऑफ दैट पर्सन राधर देन दी इंसिडेंट एक आध लाइफ में बता सकते हो कि वन साइड हेल्थ सीरियसली इल ड्यूरिंग दोज डेज ही वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली बाय माई साइड बस इतना ज्यादा नहीं आपने करना है उसको उन्होंने तो पूरी चार लाइनें इसके ऊपर ही लिख दी है ठीक है लास्ट में आई प्रे टू गॉड मेक हिम हैप्पी थ्रू आउट द लाइफ आई विश फॉर माय फादर द सक्सेस एंड हैप्पीनेस एट लास्ट यू कैन राइट लाइक दैट ओके चलिए डिस्क्राइब योर फादर सो डिस्क्राइब योर फेवरेट डांसर I have come across many dancers in my life and fond of most but Madhuri Dixit is my favorite. She is an Indian actor you can write any Rebo de Souza Prabhu Deva right She is an Indian actor she has been praised by critics for her dancing skills when she dances her movements sway the air I have watched all her movies in which she gave superb dancing performances she speaks very well you can talk about her uh, dressing sense also it seems that she has danced in her dna she dances collectively but if we go into deep we will discover that every part of her body is dancing individually in 2008 she was awarded the padma shri by government of india she is indeed one of the lead dancers of indian bollywood or bollywood of we can say industry that way you can add it Last summer vacation, you went to your friend's village. His grandmother looked after you as if were her grandchild. Describe her in one fifty words. So, ये जो हम कर रहे हैं ना कि four marks के लिए, right? In every summer vacation, I visit some hill station. But last time, I visited my friend's grandmother's village on her repeated invitations. She gave me a warm welcome. First of all, we took a bath in the river. and rested under the dense trees she cared a lot ab yahan pe aapko apne events ke upar aap kuch bacche kya samjhenge isko please try to understand most of you are going to understand ki last summer vacation i went to friends village acha village ko describe karte hain yahan pe agli line padhiye dhyan se his grandmother looked after you as if you were her grandchild ye hai aapka question okay actual question is this His grandmother looked after you, as if you were her grandchild. Describe her. So don't get confused. Read the question carefully. 
यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब द ग्रैंड मदर इन वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स तो यहाँ पे भी इन्होंने अपनी वेकेशन के बारे में तीन लाइनें चार लाइने लिख दी राधर दैट यू शुड स्टार्ट लास्ट समर वेकेशन आई गॉट अ चांस टू विजिट माई फ्रेंड ग्रैंड मदर इन हर विलेज एंड इट वॉज रियली प्लेजर मीटिंग दैट नाइस लेडी हर नेम इज आप स्टार्ट कर सकते हो हर नेम इज विद्यावती शी इज सेवेंटी ईयर ओल्ड शी वॉज ड्रेव्ड इन वाइट साड़ी फाइट इन्होंने कुछ नहीं लिखा हुआ ऐसा आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू वन मोर सजेशन फाइट she was draped in white sari always keeping telling the beads of the rosary her time would nap japti thi always telling the beads of the rosary she gave me a warm welcome right aapko ye batane ki zarurat nahi hai baki sab bhai to ko baat hai all she is very caring lady as she took off uh, care of our meals and all uh, she prepared breakfast lunch and dinner uh, was so tasty she is a very good cook Right, she took. Uh, she is very responsible. I felt as if I were in grandmother's paradise. She won very gold medals in swimming competition. She showed me all the prizes she had achieved in her life. I was very excited. Right, God bless my friend's grandmother who took care of us seriously. जो आपको A R M आर का था, the points are given. Right. famous personalities be beta it can be a guided paragraph also sometimes uh, a personality and the traits are already given ki what are the you can say date of birth sometimes date of death also is given if person is no more achievement throughout the life so that way you have to write ar rahman allah rakha rahman is it indian composer singer songwriter music producer musician and philanthropist who was born in chennai date of birth Uh, his previous history, his fame and name, how he was given Padma Shri, Padma Vibhushan, his achievements. He won two Oscars. Men like him are hard to find. A very good singer and writer. So at end, you are giving your comment to that person. This is the way you are going to end the descriptive paragraph. Now, ye dekhi. I was telling you again. This question is just to confuse you. Beta, be careful. One day you were commuting in a DTC bus. Unfortunately, your wallet was left at home. The conductor gave you ticket for free. You are moved by his gesture. Describe him in hundred to one fifty words. अब कुछ बच्चे क्या करेंगे यहाँ पे? They will think that this is the incident base that I got my uh, wallet as home and all. They will start writing about that only. No, you have to write about the driver. Oh, sorry, the conductor only. कंडक्टर को डिस्क्राइब कर रहे हैं राइट ज्यादातर इंसिडेंट के ऊपर कंसंट्रेट नहीं कर रहे हैं थोड़ा सा इंसिडेंट भी बताओगे बट यू हैव टू टेल दैट हाउ ही वाज अ वेरी काइंड हार्टेड पर्सन ही वाज अ कॉन्शियस पर्सन ही अंडरस्टूड माय प्रॉब्लम ही वाज आई वाज मूव्ड बाय हिज बिहेवियर एंड हाउ काइंड ही वाज ही वाज हाउ केयरिंग ही वाज फॉर ऑल द पैसेंजर्स ही वाज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द सीट्स ऑफ ऑल द एल्डरली लेडीज आल्सो एज वेल After helping me, ठीक है तो you have to see where to discuss. तो जैसे C V रबर का है ये, they have written date of birth also and date of death also. This is given. In between achievements are given. So accordingly, you have to write. Sri Chandra Vaikatha Rabat born on this. Right? Was he how he achieved something or which date he died? कुछ पॉइंट्स गिवन है डॉक्टर किरण मजूबदार शौक है पेरेंट्स एजुकेशन अचीवमेंट्स एंड देन दे आर आस्किंग टू राइट डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ अबाउट दिस दैट इज इजी यू नो व्हेन पॉइंट्स आर गिवन वो तो आप कर ही लोगे नाउ लेट्स कम टू प्लेस बिफोर आई स्टार्ट शेयरिंग हु विल टेल मी हाउ टू राइट अ पैराग्राफ ऑन प्लेस कौन बताएगा जल्दी से Tell you points of narrating a place. Divya, batayiye. Yes, ma'am. I first introduce the place with adding two or three adjectives. Uh, then tell the nearest landmark and the specialty of that place. Uh, special attractions over there, and facilities that uh, that are provided there. Very good. 
all the points covered name of the place we have to tell and the geographical location at the nearest landmark near the railway station near this place or that uh, by roundabout jo bhi aapne usko near destination batana landmark batana after telling the name of that place and then you have to tell about the speciality of that place and special places to uh, why that uh, place is famous special attributes of that place clear and at last uh, you can also tell that how you visited that place or not clear so basically geographical location how it is in the center of the city uh, special attractions of that at any uh, myth related to the place or any story related to that place or anything else clear or the persons also related to that place so why that place is famous amongst people clear that is the main thing टू थ्री पैराग्राफ्स नहीं होते हैं बेटा एक ही होता है पैराग्राफ राइटिंग में तो आपने इसको एक पैराग्राफ ही रखना इट शुड हैव अ टॉपिक सेंटेंस मेन सेंटेंस होना चाहिए तो पैराग्राफ से दो तीन लिखे हुए बट इट शुड बी वन पैराग्राफ दे हैव गिवन यू हैपन टू विजिट भलाड इन द फुट हिल्स ऑफ कुबाऊ You collected details about this place. Write a descriptive paragraph on the basis of the following inputs. Inputs are given: nearest airport, Delhi; nearest railway station, KKDM; road, call C A, and this twenty-four to this facilities, attractions. Everything is given. You just need to write the paragraph now. Balad in Kumbhau district is a place where nature's beauty can be captured. So beautifully, you have described it. That why this place is famous. In the very first line, it is close to Kathoga railway station, Kathoga. So nearest landmark, I told you. Nearest airport is Delhi. From here, one can either take a train or go by road. How can you reach this place? How you can reach there? There are very interesting places to stay there, including homestay options at Albora. Clear, but the call up they can do events and uh, incidents. Okay, paragraph writing. Okay, today we have done persons and places. And make sure you send your notebooks well in time to me today for final checking. Okay, by tomorrow, all your notebook check will be ready. what can see fruit laden trees in balaj home stay option charge this so what are the uh, you can say nature's pristine beauty can be seen here or kya kya dekh sakte hain uh, beep tal settle boating facilities are available it these hills are wonderful place for bird watchers natural lovers and trekkers what sort of people uh, come over there that you can tell what can see fruit laden trees in balaj आ होम से ऑप्शन चार्ज फोर थाउजेंड वहां पे नाइट पर कपल विद टू चिल्ड्रन बिलो ट्वेल्व थ्री सो ऑन द होल दिस इज सच अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस विच इज क्वाइट सूदिंग टू द आईज फाइन इन दैट वे यू कैन डिस्क्राइब द प्लेस यू रिसेंटली विजिटेड सिटी ऑफ जयपुर फेमस फॉर इट्स हवा महल श्रीनगर विद इट्स डल लेक कश्मीर एंड श्रीनगर इमेजिनरी जर्नी यू हैव टेकन एनी प्लेस यहाँ पे तो आपके पास कोई भी प्लेस आ, आ गया फिर ऑप्शन में सिटी ऑफ डेली कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया वेलकमेशन ऑफ ट्रेडिशन एंड मॉडर्निटी इस प्लेस को डिस्क्राइब करो डेली को क्लियर है बेटा प्लीज टेल मी क्लास नाइन्थ डी पैराग्राफ राइटिंग और पर्सन एंड प्लेस बोथ शुड बी क्लियर टू यू हाउ टू राइट अ पैराग्राफ और अ पर्सन एज वेल एज ऑन प्लेस क्योंकि आपकी राइटिंग स्किल्स कितनी है हाउ मेरी ओनली थ्री ओनली थ्री एंड इफ यू आर वेल इक्विप्ड यू हैव टू राइट इट ओके प्रैक्टिस कर दी है आपने For your practice, I'm giving you one statement. This is not to be done in your fair notebook now. Okay, fair notebook का काम complete हो चुका है. 
please uh, note down you just write one incident base to so, kal mere start is se kar rahe you will narrate it theek hai you were coming back from school you were coming back home from school you witnessed a truck hitting a maruti car you witnessed a truck hitting a maruti car you come back home in a distraught condition you come back home in a distraught d i s t r a u g h t you have to search each and everything meaning of the word or what to write and all you come back home in a distraught condition write a paragraph on this incident write a paragraph in this incident so you have to write one paragraph for this incident and tomorrow we will start from this okay who so ever will uh, raise hand that child will speak and then we will continue okay beta any doubt